Have you ever pondered on the notion of what truly brings happiness? What if the answer lies not in the pursuit of wealth, fame, or power, but instead in the simple pleasures of life? This is the core of a philosophy known as Epicureanism, formulated by a man named Epicurus. Around 341 BC, on the island of Samos in the Aegean Sea, a child was born who would grow up to challenge the established ideas of happiness and pleasure. This child was Epicurus, who would later move to Athens and become one of the most influential philosophers of his time. In an era dominated by Platonists and Stoics, Epicurus dared to propose a different perspective on life. He suggested that the ultimate goal of human existence wasn't virtue or knowledge, but to seek pleasure and avoid pain. This might sound hedonistic to our modern ears, but let's delve deeper. Epicurus's idea of pleasure was not indulgence in physical or materialistic pleasures. He advocated for a life of modesty and simplicity, where the greatest pleasure comes from the absence of pain and fear. This philosophy is known as ataraxia, a term that translates to tranquil pleasure, a state of serenity and peace. Epicurus also held a unique perspective on death. He affirmed that death should not be feared because once we cease to exist, we can no longer experience pain or pleasure. Thus, fearing death is irrational and only deprives us of the pleasure of living in the present. In 306 BC, Epicurus founded the Garden, a philosophical school in Athens. This school was a physical representation of his teachings. Unlike other schools of the time, the Garden welcomed everyone, regardless of gender or social status reflecting Epicurus's belief in the equal potential for anyone to achieve happiness. The ideas of Epicurus were later compiled into a school of thought known as Epicureanism. It thrived for several centuries, spreading across the Roman Empire, influencing great thinkers like Lucretius and Horace. Epicureanism gradually declined with the rise of Christianity, but its influence did not entirely fade. In the Renaissance, it saw a revival shaping the humanist movement. Even today, the echoes of Epicureanism can be heard in the pursuit of a balanced, contented life. To summarize, Epicurus was a philosopher born in 341 BC, who introduced a fresh perspective on how to achieve happiness. He proposed that the ultimate goal of life is to seek pleasure and avoid pain, with pleasure defined not as indulgence but as the absence of pain and fear. He believed death should not be feared and founded The Garden, a school embodying his teachings. His ideas were later developed into Epicureanism, a philosophy that has influenced thinkers throughout history and continues to resonate today. So next time you find yourself caught in the hustle and bustle of life, remember the teachings of Epicurus. Perhaps the key to happiness lies not in the pursuit of more, but in cherishing the simple pleasures and living in tranquil pleasure, free from fear and pain.